All right, let's do multiplication input and output tables. Now, we're going to be given the rule, like in this first one, multiply by 1. And we need to put in what the output is. Well, I know any number times 1 equals itself. So, 2 times 1 equals 2. 3 times 1 equals 3. We know that 6 times 1 is 6. And 7 times 1 equals 7. Next one, we're multiplying by 1 again. And I know 5 times 1 equals 1. I like to do that to check it, okay? So what is 2 times 1? 2. What is 8 times 1? 8. And what is 10 times 1? 10. Good work. Okay, this time we're multiplying by 0. And I couldn't believe it gets any easier than already what it has. What is our rule by multiplying by 0? Any number times 0 always and forever will equal 0. So 2 times 0 is 0. 5 times 0 is 0. 6 times 0 is 0. And 9 times 0 is 0. I like that one. Okay, this time we're multiplying by Three. Okay, so each time I'm multiplying by three. Okay, so let's check this one first. Is one times three, three? Yes, it is. So we know that's good. What's zero times three? Zero. What's two times three? Six. And three times three is nine. What do you notice here? Zero, three, six, nine. We have a pattern. Zero, three, six, nine. Okay, this time we are multiplying by two. Every time I'm multiplying by two. The other way to think of it as I'm taking the number and doubling it. So five times two, or if I doubled five, I get ten. What's two times two? Four. What's three times two? Six. And what's four times two? Eight. What do you notice? It's counting by twos. So if somebody extended this in and out table, you'd be able to continue that rule, to continue that pattern. So four, six, eight. Next, let's multiply by two every time. Remember, multiplying by two is doubling that number. It's like an addition doubles fact. One times two is equal to two, so that's good. What's three times two? Six. What's four times two? Eight. And five times two is ten. So two, six, eight, ten. Next one. This time we're multiplying by 2, okay? So we multiply by 2 every time. And like I said, I know that one's already solved, but I like to put it there to check it. Is 2 times 2, 4? Yes. So that means we're good to carry on. What's 1 times 2? 2. What's 3 times 2? 6. And 4 times 2 is 8. What do we notice? Two, four, six, eight. We had a pattern going. So I'd be able to figure out if I have five as my in, I know 10 is my output. Okay. Next one. Let's multiply by three. Okay. Putting in our multiply by three, multiply by three, multiply by three, and multiply by three. Okay. Is three times three, nine. Yes, it is. What's zero times three? Zero. What's one times three? Three. And what's two times three? Six. Look it, we have a pattern going zero, three, six, nine. So if I had four here, and multiply it by three. I'm counting by three, so I know that would be 12. See how these in and out tables help us to solve other problems. Next one, 
We're multiplying by one. Oh my goodness, we can do this. What's zero times one? Zero. What's three times one? Three. Four times one? And we know seven times one is seven. One more. Let's multiply by three. Multiplying by three every single time. Okay, let's check it. Is two times three six? Yes, it is. So what's zero times three? Zero. What's one times three? Three. We know two times three is six. Following the pattern, three times three is nine. Good job. So we have zero, three, six, and nine. Way to go with these multiplication in and out tables.